Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. Today we're gonna walk you guys through um, a little bit about how to conduct testing to IC61000-4-5 on data lines uh, using the EM Test NX5 platform. You'll see that right here with the CNI 508, which is uh, the second unit right there. Uh, this video is gonna show you a little bit about the test equipment. So we'll start with the NX5 platform you'll see right here. This is actually the 32 amp version. Uh, then we'll move along to the CNI 508 right here. We're going to show you guys how to set it up, make all the required connections, and um, kind of walk through a little bit about that. And following that, we're going to open up the software. You'll see it right on top of the system right here. We're going to open that up, uh, walk you through a little bit about the software, and kind of do some um, manipulation and testing parameters. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to get started on the uh, NX5 platform. You'll see it right here, and then we'll, uh, we'll work our way through it. All right, so taking a look um, here, we, all we've done is plugged in the power cord to your NX5, and that's gonna be on the rear of the unit, and then we uh, turn it on. So it'll start up here, um, and as I mentioned previously, this is the um, 32 amp unit. So um, this does have that same, um, the same voltage, 300 volts, except it does offer 32 amps. So it is slightly bigger as well. You'll notice this bottom section here. Um, if you guys go out there and you see the 16 amp unit, it's gonna be slightly smaller, However, you're kind, of, uh, you're kind of losing out of some coupling capabilities uh, for a built-in coupler. Uh, we chose to go with a 32 amp unit. You guys go out there and check out the 16 one. Again, very, very similar system. So um, we have ours configured for, um, you can see on the screen right here, I'm not sure if you see it completely, uh, burst, surge, and then there are also other options on there as well. Uh, obviously today we're not gonna focus too much on burst. Um, as we're focusing on IEC 61000-4-5, which is based around combination wave surges, but um, just so you are aware, that is there for you. All right, so taking a look here on the front side of the, the, the uh, piece of equipment, again, it's, it's pretty straightforward here. Line up here, active, USB, back, start, stop, test on. I use this, use this flywheel here to adjust uh, different parameters. Uh, you get your current voltage monitoring, burst out, and then obviously uh, your test apply. So it'll come with a little adapter, looks something like this, and you can use this as well as um, direct output and plug it in right there. Uh, that's pretty easy. So um, just so you guys are aware that that does come with it. So it makes it really easy to use. All right, so now we got through a little bit about the front of it. Why don't we go ahead and we'll take a look at some surge pulses here. All right, so um, we just clicked on the surge screen right here. You'll see the waveform up at the top, right up there, 1.2 by 50, 8 by 20. So um, that's going to be one of your most common um, IEC 61000-4-5 uh, based uh, waveform. So you'll see it up at the top right there. Um, we're going to go ahead and we'll first take a look at the standards real quick. And you can see right here, really goes through and talks about a whole, um, whole wide variety of different standards. Again, we're not going to focus too much on on uh, too many of these but you can see there just a, a wide variety of different um, combination wave surge standards uh, test levels already pre-programmed in uh, one thing you do want to take note of in here though if you are planning on using the pre-programmed test routines for um, data line or communication line testing um, for surges is it does offer you the pre-programmed standard for uh, signal lines so right there if you take a look it's already set up for you now we're also going to show you guys out there how to set it up yourself using the quick test. All right, so here's, like I said before, just hit back, it takes you to the main menu. Here's the quick start. So we're going to open that up real quick. Um, you can see right here, got a couple different things you can modify, polarity, synchronization. So this is an important one to mention while we're here. Um, obviously, if you're testing on something, you're not worried about that. Data lines, communication lines, something like that, you can just turn it off. When you turn it on, Obviously, you're able to choose different parameters there. So, um, all kinds of good stuff like that is uh, is there for you as well. Um, coupling. So this is a something we want to mention here. You will see the option for HVCOM. That is what you want to select if you're going out there and you're trying to use um, something like our CNI 508N2. So uh, you can see it. There are other options out there, uh, but we're going to stick with that today. All right. Perfect. So now we're ready to go. Um, that's a little bit about the system, and like I mentioned before, um, the CDN that we have it has built into this one uh, is the single phase 300 volts 32 amp uh, coupler decoupler network. 
Um, again, we're not going to use that for our um, for our video today, just because uh, we're going to want to couple um, our t our uh, data line CD in directly from the pulses. So we're not going to go through that. In the front here, we're going to go through the back. Um, however, that's why this unit is slightly thicker. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna show you guys how to hook up the CNA 508N2, and then we're gonna walk you through a little bit about that as well. Okay, so here we have your CNI 508N2 made by EM Test, and as I touched on previously, uh, this coupler and decoupling network is used for symmetrical high-speed data lines. Um, there are other options out there, however, this one is, is, is very easy to use and also allows you to do um, burst as well. You can see it right there. All right, so, um, it's a little bit of body. If you kind of turn it this way, it gives you a really easy to follow diagram right there. So if you have any questions about the setup, um, it's right there as well. One of the nice things about this system, let's take a look right there. It's just a few different connections and the system itself comes with a couple different cords to allow it to be used with the um, UCS 500N style of generators as well as the NX, NX5 we worked with earlier. All right, so now that we've done that, uh, the setup for this one is very, very easy. Um, you have your connector right here that comes with it. So right there. And we're just going to go ahead and plug that one in. And it just turns right on there. Again, super simple, um, super easy. And this would just obviously go towards the back of the system. Um, you don't want to push it through the coupler, obviously, because that's what this is doing right here. This is going to be your coupling decoupling network. Uh, so you're going to go through the back of the unit for the direct out. All right, so uh, why don't we go ahead and um, I'll hook it up quick and then we'll uh, we'll talk a little more briefly about the uh, system. Okay, so all we've done so far is we've booted up the system. We've plugged in our USB OptoLink by EM Test to connect our laptop here that we're currently working on to our Compact NX5. And you'll see that under the device mode right here, right next to the standard mode and your Compact NX5. So if for some reason you're installing this on let's say a different computer, or something along those lines where it doesn't have the system already in there, you'll go ahead and go to select device. All right, so that's already been selected for you. It's all ready to go. Obviously, for our uh, example here today, we're looking at Surge on I.O. Um, we'll click on that there. You see all kinds of good information. You can test, make modifications to testing parameters. You'll see the pulse shape again. Same same thing right there, a combination wave to IC61000-4-5, that 1.2 by 50, and then 8 by 20. All right, so you can adjust a whole different variety of, of criteria right here, voltage, all this kind of stuff. It really makes it really easy um, if you're kind of looking to make some more modifications than you would via the uh, front panel. So um, we're not going to spend too much time on that here, but just to give you an idea um, kind of what the screen looks like. All right, perfect. All right, so it does kind of show you what kind of uh, the system's reading there. Why don't we go ahead and go over to standards mode. Um, and you can see right here, power supply AC, power supply DC, unbalanced operation lines, balanced, so forth and so on. All right, guys, so thanks for joining us today. Uh, we hope you guys learned a little bit about this and enjoyed uh, kind of learning about this test system used for IEC 61000-4-5 on uh, data lines. Of course, um, if you guys are looking for a rental, uh, feel free to drop us a line. Uh, we rent this system and its components for as short as a week and as long as you guys need them for. Thank you and uh, have a good rest of your day.